Hi guys, so today, now, I'm going to move on to the bottom left section and I'm going to go ahead and add our shading. So I'm going to demonstrate what you need to do to go ahead and add that shading to the section and I'd like you to watch my demonstration and then go ahead and try as well. Now we're going to pick a section first that's quite easy and quite fun. So we can either do the bottom and you can do it as you please, there's no, there's no restriction. So as long as we demonstrate the dark, medium and light, we are okay. And that's all we want, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pick the section on the side where I want it very, very dark. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line, a dark line, and then kind of follow through the outline because I want this to be very dark and just follow through a little bit. Now before I continue, I do need to draw these little raindrops. You can't see it too clearly, but there are some raindrops at the edge there. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in for you, so you can see nice and clearly what I mean. So, before I continue, do you need to watch, add the details, that's something that's missing in my work. And I'm doing it as inverted triangles, because that's the shape I would like. You can do raindrops, you can do inverted triangles, or you can go ahead and do inverted raindrops as well. It's up to you. Now that I've got this dark line, I'm going to slowly, very lightly, start using that circular round motion and start spreading out my pencil marks. I'm going to do it this direction, and I'm going to do it, do it this direction. And as I am doing this, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I carefully slow down around the detail. Now my pencil mark is very, very light and that's because I have already got a, um, a tab created. My pencil mark is nice and smooth. Now if I move my pencil around and I try to start shading like this, it won't come out as smooth depending on which angle you got your pencil in. Sometimes it'll come out nice and smooth. If it doesn't, just go ahead and make your pencil slightly blunt and make sure your pencil marks are nice and smooth as mine are right now so that your work doesn't come out scratchy make sure you keep your pencil marks nice and light your pencil marks are nice and round but your pencil pressure is nice and light so as I start to go out I'm going to get lighter and lighter so I need to work very very carefully in this section now my pencil mark is getting a bit scratchy, so I'm just going to create that little tab just to make sure that it doesn't make the light area look scratchy because then I can't do much about it. Now it's looking good, except this dark line is not blended with the other, so I'm going to go ahead and layer and add some pressure. Go ahead and press that down. I'm pressing it, then I'm releasing my pressure right away. And I'm pressing it very with a very soft angle. But you can start to see some really dark tones. Now I want this dark tone to really kind of press through most of it. So you can redefine your shapes if you need to. That's why I drew them so large. So if I need to kind of cape, kind of tape them in a little bit, that's okay as well. It doesn't take too much out either. I'm going to go ahead and just complete that top section so you can see how it's going to turn out. Now I've got some dark tones, some really dark tones, got some dark medium tones. Now I need to get some really good medium and light tones. So I need to demonstrate this nicely, um, nice and smooth. So my pencil pressure needs to be very light. I'm using that round motion. Make sure you have a tab. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the top and make sure it goes dark, medium and light from there as well. Okay. Kind of fill any spaces up as you can. Go ahead and 
add your tones and spread it all the way. Now, as you're doing it, you might change your mind. You might want to do it all dark on the outside and go lighter in the middle. That's fine as well. That's not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this. Go dark and go light in the corner. But actually, making it dark on each side of the shape might be good as well. So for instance, if I was to do that, I'm just going to add this dark line and kind of have it blending into the opposite side. You can start to see some highlights in between. And the rest of the video is now just going to be me finishing this off. So you can watch and just skip parts if you want, that's fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and just add some layers and make areas a little bit more blended. Now, just to make the tones a little bit more smoother, I'm going to add some pressure in certain areas and continue using that circular motion and that's all. I'm going to turn my work around over slightly. So I've got some smooth blends happening here at the top as well. That dark, medium and light can blend in smoothly. And you are pretty good. So quite happy with that. And I'm also just going to continue spreading that down. So what I'm doing is getting the outline of the shape. And within the outline of that shape, I'm just going to make it dark medium light. If I see where that shape is going, I can see that it goes all the way to the outside. And that's fine. So what I'm going to do is kind of outline it nice and neat. But look how I'm pressing in the darkness. I don't press it in too high. I only press it in this much. Then I blend it in. Blend it in using a very light tone. And I can start to blend those um, those three, three colors into my work using a very smooth pencil mark. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of finish off the rest as well. So just think about the shapes that you're working with. Maybe you want to start what I've done as well on just the outs outside um, section I've done. You don't have to. You can go ahead and do a different section if you like as well. I'm just going to finish this off for the rest of the video. You guys can skip through it. Um, or you can continue watching it and start doing your work as well. If you haven't done started already, please start as well. Just outlining the outside. Making sure it's nice and thin. So when I blend it, it's nice and smooth that I can see a lot more transitions happening. Making sure that I don't touch any, any pencil mark in the middle so that I can get the optimum light tone and a nice peak of highlights in between that as well. Okay. I'm going to stick with one side and just continue. Now, because I'm not using my finger, doesn't mean that my hand won't smudge sometimes. Now, some areas have smudged. If you feel like that happens, you can do it as you go, or right at the end, you can just rub any sections out so you can get some neatness in your work. Now, I'm going to go ahead and discipline myself in one section at a time. I'm just going to slow my roll and just finish off one section. So then I can start working in the middle as well. But otherwise, I'm all over the place. I'm going to turn my work around just so that my hand is at a comfortable spot. So please do the same. And look how I can very easily run my pencil through it now. Now to blend some of these tones up, I'm working very small, small circular motion. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I 
And what I'll do is I'll send, uh, I'll post a picture of the final work as well, so you guys can see what point you're at and what you need to do for that as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and blend this section out. Just be careful not to go over any areas that you want light. Try to keep them as light as possible. Maybe just keep a speck of it white, but make sure it blends into that white. To do that, you just need to kind of add some layers and blend your tones. Work carefully. Revisit any section you think is not blended. Don't think you're finished. Keep working on it. You'll always go back and forth with your work a lot, and that's, that's part of it. That's part of the process. Now the reason it's taking me so long to demonstrate this is because it's going to take you so long to do it as well. If I don't talk and just do it, because I know what I need to do, then I can get my work done a lot faster as well. So I'd like you to consider that while you're working. Try not to talk to anyone. You can listen to music while you do this, it's fine. While you're doing the other section, if you're watching the video and you want to follow through what's happening, that's fine as well. Or if you just want the video playing and you just carry on with your work, you can go. Um, if you feel like you've gone over a section that you need to keep white, using a very sharp edge to a rubber, a very sharp edge, just make sure that you rub the sections out as well. Now, it does tend to get messy. You will get a lot of this. Just be careful that you're moving your work around as well. And I'm just going to finish up here and post what it's going to, what the final work looks like as well. And you can go ahead and see how this is done. Okay. All right, guys, thank you.